I'm not gonna lie, I did not watch this game. And if you had seen the video that we made earlier today talking about Elias Pettersson and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, you would have known that I had some stuff to attend to, some hockey games myself to play, and some goals to score. I scored five goals today at the drop-in community center, and that sounds really good and dandy, but a lot of people scored a lot of goals, so it's not really that special, but I did have some good snipes on the rush, top cheese, popping the water bottle off the backside of the goalie's net over and over again, so that was fun. But while I was doing that at the local community center, the Vancouver Canucks played themselves a game against the Chicago Blackhawks. And ultimately, this was a game full of firsts. Again, I didn't watch the game per se, I saw the brief highlights of the goals that were scored, but with this game and with the point scorers getting on the board in the ways that they did, you had a number of firsts present themselves for Vancouver. Firstly, you have yourselves Vitaly Kravtsov, who had himself a goal. He finally scored a goal, and it wasn't even really like a straight-up goal. It wasn't like he was trying to score it. He was trying to send it back door to Sheldon Dries, but it was tipped in by Seth Jones. So, first goal scored by Vitaly Kravtsov. You had yourselves Vancouver getting the shutout. That's the first shutout the Canucks have had literally since December of 2021. So it's been over a year that this team has had a shutout. Hey, yeah, yeah. Bruce Boudreaux's very first game as the head coach of the Canucks, the LA Kings shutout in December of 2021. That was the last time this team has gotten the big zero on the board. It took them a year and a little bit, but they finally get one for the first time since then. You also had yourselves Akito Hirose getting himself on the board twice. Two assists for the guy, his first and second NHL points in this game. And then you had yourselves JT Miller scoring a goal to seal the deal, give the Canucks the empty net goal, making it 3 to nothing. This is his 30th goal on the season. Making this the first time in, I believe it's 20 years, 20, 30 something years, that the Canucks have had four 30 goal scorers on their team. Petey already at 30, Kuzmenko already at 30, Miller is at 30 right now because of the goal today, and I guess you forgot Bo Horvat because he technically counts. They got 30 goals in like 40-something games played, so he was ahead of the race before a whole bunch of these other guys, but it's kind of poetic to me. It means a lot to me to see Vancouver get 30 goals from four different players, considering they hadn't had a 30-goal score from 2015 up until 2022. It took them 70 years just to get one, Last year, they got three in a row, which is kind of good because, you know, breaking that streak of no 30-goal scores in seven years by getting three up all on the board is nice, but how about four in 2023? That's a pretty good mark as well. Either way, though, I don't really have too much to say about this game because I didn't watch it, but let's go over just the circumstances of both of these teams. Vancouver, of course, eliminated from the playoffs after their loss against the what was it, the Seattle Kraken game or the Kings game? I'm not really too sure which one was the one where they got eliminated. Kind of goes to show my ineptitude as being a Canucks commentator. But either way, there was a good amount of bite, it feels. This team wants to go out there and show off that they have talent and that they can give fans something to hope for for next season. A lot of these guys coming into the lineup, you've got Cole McWard, Akito Hirose as well. You've got, of course, Vitaly Kraftsov giving himself an opportunity once more to be in the lineup. And you got power play time out of these guys too. So this really is just sort of a building up the resume type of game. And I feel like a lot of these games towards the end of the season are going to be that for a lot of these Canucks players. I'm seeing a lot of fans go out there and say, oh, why are you going to go out there and play your star guys for the remainder of the year? It's not really worth it. But a lot of these guys do have pride. A lot of these guys do want to boost their point totals. And for a guy like Elias Pettersson, I mean, he gets an assist today. He's at 98 points on the year. He's got four games left to get two more. I'm not going to go out there and say anything until the mark is hit, if that does inevitably happen. And the reason I'm talking about it like that is because last year, JT Miller was at 99 points for like a period and a bit, and there was a chance he had in the overtime game in game 82 to get the winner, and he fumbled it, and he ended off the season with 99 points because that game went to a shootout. I'm still kind of traumatized from that, so I don't want to go out there and jinx anything for Elias Pettersson or for anybody else that is on this team. 
But Chicago has been a bad team this season. They're going out there tanking for Bedard. They're doing a really good job at doing so, and they're one of the last teams in the NHL when it comes to point percentage. So a loss like this helps them in their cause. A win like this for Vancouver doesn't really accomplish anything aside from giving the fans something to cheer about in the short term and boosting up those point totals. But let's go over the goals either way because, I mean, look, this is an important game. The Canucks' first shutout in over a year. Yeah, that's kind of wild. I think it was the longest shutout streak or longest active shutout streak in the NHL at the time of its existence. But now, of course, it's not a thing anymore. So who really knows how to continue about that? First goal of the game scored by Andre Kuzmenko, assisted by Akito Hirose and Elias Pettersson. Hirose is the guy who collects the Kuzmenko rebound on the side of the boards. He dumps it around for Elias Pettersson. Pettersson throws it up to the very top of the slot on the blue line, pretty much. Kuzmenko is there. He wires a shot. It's a long one. It's a floater. Not really a floater, just kind of a decent shot. It goes by everybody. It goes in, 38 goals on the season for Andre Kuzmenko. He's got four more games to get himself up to 41, which was the mark hit by Daniel Sedin and Ryan Kessler back in 2010-2011. The Canucks have not had a 40-goal score since then, so who knows if he's going to be able to best out that, but a goal like this goes out there and helps that cause. Elias Pettersson, of course, with the assist, so he is now at 98 points on the season. That's his 61st assist on the year. And then Akito Hirose getting himself a point, his very first in the NHL with this play behind the boards. Admittedly, he didn't really do much. He just kind of sent the puck back in deep, and it was Petey who sent it over to Kuzmenko who took the shot. So Hirose just doing the right play, the smart play, the puck facilitating play, ends up rewarding him with a point. 16 minutes into the first period of this game, and the Vancouver Canucks have the 1-0 lead because of it. You then go to the second period, where the Canucks on the power play, Akito Hirose gets himself yet another point. Hirose throws one over to Vitaly Kravtsov, and Kravtsov, I think he goes around the net, feeds it to Connor Garland in front, who takes a shot, it's stopped, the rebound goes over to Kravtsov, who takes another shot, and it goes in off of Seth Jones and in. This one, Hirose didn't really do much at all, because he was the last puck touch, maybe like three or four puck touches ago, it's just, it was Hirose to Kravtsov to Garland to Kravtsov to goal, so Hirose technically gets the point. He gets his second assist in the NHL and his first power play point. Vitaly Kravtsov gets his first goal as a Vancouver Canuck as well. Good for him to get that on the board. He was kind of snake bitten this entire time he had been in Vancouver up to this point, so hopefully he's able to carry over that momentum. He had some pretty good cycling down low, I noticed, from the highlights, the very brief highlights that I did see. And then you had yourselves the third and final goal of the game to give the Vancouver Canucks the 3-0 lead and the inevitable shutout. It's Tyler Myers who plays it over. It goes off of him. It's Brock Besser eventually who picks the puck up next. Besser goes over to Miller, and Miller goes off the boards and into the empty net. 30 goals on the season for JT, so good on him for getting back up to that mark once more, really revitalizing himself after that poor start of the season. Brock Besser getting more points is always good to see. He's been stepping his game up as of late as well. And the Vancouver Canucks take the 3-0 lead because of it. So this is ultimately the game I really have nothing else to talk about because I am tired, I am very sweaty, I am very smelly, and I gotta take a shower. So yeah, I just got home. And I was like, okay, well, the Canucks game is just finishing as I'm walking through the door. Let's watch the highlights, make a video about it, and then try to pass that off as content because a lot of people are kind of hoping to hear what I have to say about it. And I'm very happy to hear that. So thank you if you had stuck around to the end of this video, if you actually had value in what it was that I decided to talk about here. I know I didn't really do my part as a content creator, but that's just kind of the lifestyle that you have to live when you have to balance exercise and making videos and doing all that stuff. So either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Canucks versus the Blackhawks, the very first shutout in months, in a year, over a year. First shutout, first two points for Hero Say, first time the Canucks have had four 30 goal scorers in multiple decades. The first goal for Vitaly Kravtsov. Lots of firsts in this one, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vidisharaj, Charles, and I, and bye.